I don't know what the best video of 2018 is, but I promise you that this one is the worst. Okay. I can't stand YouTube videos that are about the video that you're watching. Like, hey guys, I didn't know how to start this video, but I've been wanting to make this video for a long time because people have been asking me about this video. And then you're three minutes in and he's still talking about the video that you're watching. But this is one of those videos. This shit sucks. What you might not know is I do a lot of the things on my channel based on what I hate about other YouTube channels. And I can't stand channels that are mostly one guy talking about what he thinks and feels because honestly, nobody cares what you think and you feel as an individual. The goal of a YouTube channel, I believe, should be to teach something and have fun. You need to be giving something to the viewer. They need to get something out of it. Otherwise, you're just serving yourself. And I do some self-serving things. Some of the vlogs I do for my own personal benefit, I put the kids on the channel a lot. But in return, hopefully, I'm you know, helping you learn something or at least entertaining you. It was exactly one year ago today where we uploaded our first technique video. It was a, a kick defense I did with Scarface from Street Beefs. Our early tutorial videos kind of sucked. They were dry, they were boring, the camera angles weren't interesting. I realized a couple of things. One, I'm not all that technical and all that. There's people on YouTube who do that stuff better than me. And two, it's boring. I didn't enjoy it. It wasn't me. It wasn't until the smoothie video where I kind of realized exactly what I wanted to be doing. And I just had a tooth pulled and I took this painkiller and I was like out of my mind on it because I don't drink really often and I don't do drugs. So whenever I take anything, it really works on me. Well, the video was super fun. I got to just be myself and talk a bunch of shit and hopefully uh, help somebody. And that became the purpose of the channel. Kicking in a street fight. Ain't no, none of that kicking shit. The purpose of the channel is that we're supposed to learn something and we are supposed to have fun. We're supposed to do both of those things in equal face. measure. Stop. Sometimes we do one a little more than the other. But the thing mm. is, what is this? Sorry, Hi. I guess from your landlord or? All right. Yeah. Look yeah. at this. Look, I got these from my landlord. <laughs> is there a fish in here? <laughs> have a good day. All right, bye. We never did a video where we're like, hey, we reached a thousand subscribers. We reached a thousand subscribers and then it was just like a couple weeks later, it was 2,000. Then a couple weeks after that, it was 3,000. It just started growing rapidly and it didn't make any sense to me to bog down new viewers with, you know, kind of a self-serving, you know, hey, look at us, we got a thousand subscribers sort of video. But it needed to be done because as corny as it sounds, I have to say thank you. The Hard to Hurt viewers are objectively the best viewers on YouTube. There's channels with 10 times or 100 times the viewers that we have, and they have similar view counts and less comments. Now, not only are these comments almost overwhelmingly positive, though, since we've grown, we've got a couple more idiots down there, but that's, don't worry, that's more fun for us. The comments are insanely insightful. You're observant and intuitive, and you help me create better videos because you remind me of things I forgot, you give me new ideas I didn't think of, Basically, you guys have excellent ideas that I then steal to make videos for this channel. Thanks. I try not to be too spammy and weird about it, but I gotta say thank you to everyone who bought t-shirts, either the Hard to Hurt shirts or some of the other types of shirts that we have. And if you've ever clicked any link in the description, I appreciate you, even if it's a just a affiliate link or a you know the Patreon, if you check that out. The people who have supported us more directly, I I I have no words. Yeah, I also got to shout out the companies that supported us, both uh, VSL Fighting, who makes these hit sticks, Rev Gear with the mini tie pads, and com these companies, you know, sent us equipment just because they expected nothing in return, and they made quality gear, and I really appreciate them. It wasn't all good though. There were some downs this year as well. Oh, I stopped shit. exercising and eating right for a while and gained a bunch of weight. What? I got my nose broken in sparring again. Uh, this is a case of not taking your own advice. We're still filming on smartphones and editing on Windows Movie Maker on like the slowest computer on the planet.
We also had help from some bigger channels, channels of which I'm a fan and I admire. Aperture Fight Focused shared a video we did about body shots and self-defense, and then they actually featured one of my videos on their channel. Mike is a bit of a potty mouth. Liquid Cadmus, which is the filling inside Cadbury eggs, actually did a full profile on his channel. What? beating the crap out of you. Quan Kicker shared one of my videos, and then he had me for some interviews on his channel. But obviously, we need to address the biggest boom to the channel, in my opinion. I'm Daredevil. Just kidding. Nope. It was Master Wong and Ramsey Dewey. Hey, everybody, it's Master Wong. Now, I will be wearing a steel cup for this experiment. Big problem. Now, I'm not a huge fan of people who make content strictly based off other people's content. I think if you're going to do it, you need to be adding something, either adding something to the conversation or entertainment value. But I think we're going to be doing more. And I want to know who you want to see impressions of. Comment below who you think we should do next. It's come to my attention that some of our viewers are not familiar with street beefs. No. put this playlist up here which is like the best of street beefs it's all our street beefs related material also some of my fights at street beefs broken down right there so what does 2019 hold for hard to hurt uh what are my new year's resolutions now new year's resolutions are typically bullshit but uh i'm gonna share my new year's resolutions one is i'm gonna get my blue belt in brazilian jiu-jitsu i'm gonna spend some more time grappling jiu-jitsu and wrestling and i'm gonna get my blue belt and as for the channel, we're going to reach 10,000 subscribers this year. That's what we're going to do. Those are bold assertions. I'm, I'm probably going to edit. I'm probably going to edit that part out. Now, if you are a new viewer, I'm going to put uh, two playlists at the end. One is going to be called the best of 2018. It's not really the best. It's just the videos that I'm either the most proud of or I think are the most indicative of what this channel is about. Some things you might have missed. Also, I'm going to put a vlog series that I'm particularly proud of. I put a lot of work into it and it didn't receive much attention. If you could take the time to watch that, I'd really appreciate it. He's a nicer guy than me. Jared Sticky himself. where I'm hard and put it where he's soft. Right? That sounds good, doesn't it? Sorry, just you're gonna lose. Ah! Oh shit. This is Maddox. That's favorite. Yeah, that's Maybe. Yeah. As always, if you want more fitness tips, self-defense techniques, gear reviews, as well as concepts and principles that make you hard to hurt. Thanks a lot, guys. Make sure you click the subscribe button right here. And something I'm supposed to tell you is turn on notifications. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in 2019. I love y'all.